All right, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, we are going to be doing a reaction video of the worst aquariums, part three. By the way, I just threw a live clam in the reef tank for the fish. Uh, it's basically a live grocery store clam, and the fish absolutely love it. They've torn it apart in a matter of minutes. They all just pick at it, and it's a super, super good and healthy food for them. Now, back to the video, though. Yes, we're going to be doing a reaction video. I did this a few weeks ago, and it did really good, and I just did part two not too long ago. But today, I'm going to be doing part three. So I went ahead and went online and found a whole bunch of nasty, horrible, disgusting aquariums. I think I have a video as well. And I'm gonna be reacting to all of those today. Now, if you've watched the other videos, you kinda know how this works. If you don't, you can go ahead and watch those first if you want. I'll put some of the little i card above. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the first picture. So this first one comes from Reddit and it's not a good sight. So we have a medium-sized aquarium, it looks like, but the fish in it are huge. So we see two Oscars, a giant pleco, and whatever that big fish in the front is. I don't even know what that big fish is, but it looks like it should be something in a lake, not in an aquarium. Two Oscars, I'd recommend probably around a 75-gallon aquarium, and this looks to be a 29. I'm just going to go off estimation here. So we have way too many fish, including the pleco and that other random fish, in this small aquarium. So it's completely overstocked. It looks like there's an air stone in there, so that's good, but I don't really see a real filter at all. And then there's like no plants. There's a tiny thing of plants in the corner, like the left corner. I don't even know what that is. And then there's nasty gravel on the bottom. Water's cloudy, and like I said, I don't see a filter. Uh, they said this was their cousin's tank, and they tried to tell them how terrible it was, but no one agrees. So yeah, to remedy this situation, obviously we need a much bigger tank. We need filtration. And Ideally with Oscars and bigger fish, you generally don't need too much decoration, so that's not necessarily a problem. You just need a bigger tank and big filtration because these fish do eat a lot, and so they need big filtration to clean up after them. Now the next picture also comes from Reddit, but it looks like it was a screenshot from an Amazon review, and it looks like it's a planter that's designed to have a plant in the middle and then have like water on the outside to keep the plant in water. I don't know. But someone put a fish in it. I don't know if it was made for fish. I It shouldn't be made for fish. This looks literally like a cup. And the plant going in there displaces all the water. So there's like very little water for the fish. There's no gravel down there or anything. And the comment or the like word part of the review literally says, I love this concept. It works very well. The fish yang part seems a bit small once the plant is submerged in the water but our little fish doesn't seem to mind. What is this, honey? You are not the fish whisperer. You don't know if the fish is happy or not. Why would a fish be happy in a cup? Like literally the thing you buy betta fish in at the fish store probably holds more water than this. That betta fish would literally probably have been better off being kept in the cup. This thing looks probably like an eighth of a gallon, if not less. It's probably like a 10th of a gallon actually. Super tiny, should not keep a fish in here. Uh, I don't even know how you feed the fish because the top's covered by a plant. And obviously it doesn't look like they're going to be doing their water changes very well if this is how they keep a betta fish. Now, as you definitely know by now, betta fish need a minimum of a three gallon aquarium with a filter, low flow generally because betta fish have long fins, so a high flow filter isn't really good for them. They also benefit from a heater. Their water needs to be around 74 to 78 degrees. They are tropical fish. And then live plants, while not necessary, is super beneficial to betta fish because their leaves are soft and some artificial plants can tear up their fins while they're swimming past them. So I definitely think this is a terrible betta fish aquarium. I would never put a fish in that ever. That's a horrible tank and I would definitely not recommend that. In fact, uh, go find that tank on Amazon and leave it a one star review. Okay, this next picture is just as bad as the last one, if not worse. In fact, this is a horrible, horrible setup. As you see, it's a small aquarium. We got goldfish in there, I think. Uh, two goldfish in that small of a tank is not gonna end well. That's very bad. Goldfish are messy fish. They need big aquariums because they grow big. In fact, two goldfish probably would need like a 29 gallon aquarium, ideally. So this already is terrible. Um, but then if you look at the bottom, there's an axolotl. Axolotls and goldfish don't go together. Axolotls are very weird creatures. They don't do much. They don't like lights. They just like being in the dark. You can't have them on gravel because they'll choke on it. You have to have them on like sand. They like cool water. They don't like fast moving filters. So goldfish and axolotl should not be kept with each other. Uh, axolotl should really only be kept by themselves in their own tank. So this is terrible. I would not recommend a setup like this at all. I'm not sure what this person was thinking and I'm not sure why they decided to get a tank this small and then think they could put an axolotl that looks longer than the tank is. It's a big axolotl, it's not small. So horrible tank, would not recommend this. In fact, for an axolotl, generally you'd want around a 20 gallon aquarium, once again with that sand substrate, generally not having a light. 
and then um, some sort of low flow filter. And then sometimes you actually need a water chiller because they are the species that needs cold water. So sometimes you do have to put a water chiller on their tank. Goldfish on the other hand, like we talked about, large aquarium, large filter because they're high waste fish. So yeah, this tank itself maybe would be okay for a betta fish. I'm not sure how many gallons it is, but for the fish that are in there, this is a no go. Now this next aquarium is for sale on Craigslist. Now there's so much wrong here. There's so much. Now the tank itself, if it were cleaned up a little bit, there's two fancy goldfish it looks like, and they're pretty small. So this 10 gallon aquarium probably would be fine for those fancy goldfish, not long term, but definitely short term, it should be okay. Now the issue lies in the description and the price of this aquarium. So the water obviously looks nasty. There is a filter, which is a plus, and it does look like a pretty big filter. It is an internal filter, which I don't love, but you know, it's better than nothing for sure. Now the description says that the filter cleans the tank for two months and you don't have to clean it at all, or at least for two months, which is totally wrong. You're still gonna have to do water changes like every two weeks with goldfish. I mean, look at the tank, the water looks disgusting. So that's so much misinformation and not even close to being correct. And then they're asking $200 for this. $200, you could go to Petco right now, buy that same 10 gallon tank for $10, Buy that same Tetra internal filter for like 20. You got 30 bucks. Okay, go grab some gravel. It's like six bucks. Okay, you're at $36 now. Maybe some plants. You know, pick what you want. Okay, you spend $12 in plants. $42. And then two fancy goldfish, four bucks a piece. 50 bucks. They're asking $200 for this. It's old. It's used. It's crusty looking. I mean, it's disgusting. They do have some fish food and water conditioner. Okay, that's like another $10 right there. 60 bucks and you could buy everything brand new. So that doesn't make sense. Their price, what they're asking at least, is completely outrageous. I would never buy this, and I don't think anyone really would. So this is definitely not going to sell, and it's going to sit there in their house for a long, long time. Okay, this aquarium, um, I don't even know what to say. Just take a look. Yeah, so those are two koi in a small, looks like 10 gallon aquarium. There might be a filter. The water's green, I can't tell. So when you allow your aquarium to get green water, you know you're lacking on maintenance. Now this could be leaving your aquarium light on for too long or having the aquarium in direct sunlight or overfeeding, producing a lot of excess, you know, nitrates and phosphates in your water. Now the fact that this water is literally green and they're not doing anything about it, bad sign. And there's two koi, which koi belong in koi ponds. That's what a koi pond is, it's for koi. Like koi are big fish, they shouldn't really be in tanks. I'd really recommend a koi pond, if anything. Uh, generally, for our koi, I wouldn't throw it at anything under 100 gallons, and that tank is not 100 gallons. So, probably that's why the water's green, is because the fish are just so big, they're producing so much excess waste, that the green water, the algae that's in the water, is just trying to consume it all, causing that huge algae bloom. To remedy this, uh, get those fish out of there, put them in a pond, then to clean up the tank, massive water change, clean the filter, if there is one, like I mentioned. Maybe we could do a heater, and then add a few small tropical fish, and this tank would be good to go. Now this next one is a video I saw on TikTok, so roll the video. D whose idea was this? I was shocked, honey. I was in tears almost. Like you could literally go buy a fish tank for $10 at Petco, a dollar a gallon. But they chose to get cement. Uh, I don't know how much cement costs. Um, a tire, where do you, do you just take it off a car? Like, where do you get this tire? Like, was it just in your backyard? Do you find it on the side of the road? Did you take it from someone else's car? Not really sure where you got this whole tire thing. And then it's a random cloth and then just, what? Is cement even fish safe? Maybe, but it could also leach bad stuff into the water. I didn't see a filter on this. I didn't see a heater on this. This is so confusing. How do you get the glass to seal to the cemented cloth thing because it's so rigid and like bumpy and like wavy, how did you get a good seal against it? I have so many questions. I'm not sure how they did this. This is like a five minute crafts thing. Um, I once again have so many questions. Please don't do this. It's not gonna work, it's gonna leak. I'm baffled about why this is a thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I have so many questions and I wouldn't recommend it. That's where we're gonna end it for that one. All right, now last but not least, we have a girl trying to do a water change on her betta fish tank. Roll the footage. It's gonna clean you. Mama's gonna clean you. Gotta get you in that cup. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. So a lot went on there. Oh, she talks about how she's gonna clean her betta fish tank and how the betta fish like blah blah blah. Okay, you got that. You saw the video. But why did she leave or allow her betta fish tank to get that dirty in the first place? Like that tank is disgusting. Like all the water's like evaporated basically. 
That is a horrible home for a betta fish. We've already talked about betta fish care and we know for a lot of reasons that that tank is terrible. So, um, not sure how to react to that. And then she's trying to dump the betta fish from the tank into a cup, I guess. I don't know why she couldn't use the cup to scoop up the betta fish. Don't know why she couldn't use a net. I don't know why she couldn't have just used a siphon to vacuum out the bottom and leave the betta fish in the tank. Well, probably because the tank was so small. It's like a bowl that's tank shaped. I don't know, a terrible home for a betta fish. That's for sure, that poor fish. And the fish swims back in its aquarium and she has like a panic attack. And then the video ends. Cup, ah! Oh my God. So I'm not quite sure what happened. Hopefully she ended up cleaning the betta fish tank. I mean, it looks like it really needs it. But really, if you're not gonna keep a betta fish the correct way, why keep it at all? Why buy a fish if you aren't gonna take care of it? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. But that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want a part four, leave it in the comments down below. I've noticed that these videos do good and you guys really like them, so that's why I'll continue to make them if you guys want more. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and good.